What is up, my friend? Okay, so, welcome to Crazy Cat Corner. This is the first one. Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to be doing with this kind of segment. I don't know if I want to do it with news, with this random bullshit. I haven't really figured it out yet. But, I will tell you, we have some stuff that's coming up that I figure I tell you all about. So, for instance, Tuesday, not Tuesday, Wednesday is my MRI for my knee that has been causing great issues to me. Um, I want to find out what's wrong. They said I might have a torn meniscus, um, so that should be interesting. I'm a little scared. I never had surgery, so if they tell me I have to, I'll probably be terrified. Um, you know... <laughs> I've never actually had surgery, so I'd be extremely scared if I ended up having to actually get surgery. Um, so that's on Wednesday, but Tuesday is a chorus concert at my local high school. I've been out of school for about two years now, so I'm excited to go back, sing with the alumni, and uh, see some old friends. Also, um, tomorrow I'm going to be doing... I don't know if I'm going to do it live or if I'm just going to record it and upload it, but I'm getting my Trixon package in the mail with all my cool Trixon gear I bought, which I'm actually wearing a Trixon hat right now. Um, so stay tuned because I don't know if I'm going to live stream that or if I'm going to just record it and upload it. I haven't really decided yet. It's all according to what we're doing tomorrow. So yeah, um, pretty much that's what's been happening. I am got a new camera. Um, it's over there. I don't want to get up and shake the camera too much so but um I got a new camera it is a um what is it a Nikon Coolpix B500 I think it's a really good camera you go go on my um Facebook page the drops of color photography because I have a drops of color photography YouTube page but for some reason I was able to get into this one for live to look at it, so I don't know why it messed up originally, but um, if you go on the Drops of Color Facebook page, all the pictures from my new camera are on there, and um, they're really cool, I've entered them on National Geographic's website, I've entered them in different contests, so I've been kind of pushing my photography out there a lot, um, so if you want to go check that out, give it a like, thumbs it up. By all means, that's fine. I'm actually going to tweet this out right now that we are live streaming on Twitter to see if anybody wants to come out and join this fun time we're having. So let's see if anyone will come out and talk to us. Hey guys, live streaming on my old YouTube channel. Oh, if I cannot spell YouTube channel, come check it out and hang. I'll be answering your guys' questions. All right, and uh, we just tweeted. So yeah, like I said, um, I also on this live stream. With I get more viewers. I'm answering questions that you all have for me. If you have a question, you can, you know. Okay, if you have a question, put it in the chat. I'll go through chat and try to answer as many as I can. That's if I get more viewers. If I don't get enough viewers, then I'm not really going to answer questions because I don't really have a lot of subscribers or, like, you know, I don't have a lot of viewers or subscribers. Like, all these people. They base their YouTube watching on, like, high-end YouTubers. Like, for instance, I'm not, like, pointing people out here, but, like, Calchop and Creatures and, you know, the Shade Hearts and Casey Levere vlogs. Like, all these people who make, like, these videos that are super, super good and no one really wants to watch the old schools like us that just go on here randomly and talk, which I kind of think discriminates I mean I'm not saying that's discriminating I'm just saying that I would like to see a more of a bun like a more 
abundance of people watching YouTubers like me over YouTubers like Shay and all that. I mean, I'm not like discriminating against anybody. I'm just saying if YouTube watchers and YouTube followers and fans watched more of these newcomers, we could really make a difference because all these YouTubers that try the hardest don't get anywhere and they always like say how much of a bad person they are and then you see all these Twitter posts about oh I'm quitting this, I'm quitting that, I can't do it. If fans from these high-end YouTube channels would take like five, ten minutes out of their day to go on um, newcomers and like low channels that don't have a lot of followers and just give them a follow or you know watch a video like a video comment on a video that could really boost someone's confidence and I really think we should boost these youtubers confidence because we're not really giving them what they want like for instance me I've been I upload all the time but I don't get enough views on there I only get like one or two views from people and I don't get it where you go on another person's video that looks almost identical to it and they have thousands of views but mine it doesn't so I'm not saying that I'm like angry but I don't have enough YouTube viewers I'm more of saying that if they could take their time like five minutes out of their watching YouTube go to another channel random not even me just go to a channel you know just hit follow or watch five minutes of something that would really make an impact on YouTube because right now YouTube is just basing their stuff on the good people they're not really digging deeper into the base of YouTube and pulling out these people that could really turn into really good spontaneous people like if you start getting thousands and thousands of followers constantly that really would make someone want to upload videos like that but for somebody to just, you know, be like me who only has like one fo I have one follower. One follower. That really is discouraging and it really, I don't know, it just kind of makes me feel like I'm not doing enough and I don't know how to bring out more content. Like, I can't afford these fancy video systems and these fancy editing programs. But I, I do have like the basic free systems like OBS. I have OBS, that's free. But I don't have like these basic these basic video systems that you see other people using. So it's like these people who can afford it because YouTube pays them, they're making better content than us, people who can't. But other people aren't watching those people. So I feel like YouTube is really gonna go downhill in the next few years if we don't start spreading out this viewing range because if you think about it a big chunk of YouTube viewers are in one section of YouTube like gaming gaming and vlogging that is literally the chunk of YouTube right there the other half is like music videos and fail videos and like compilations that's the other half of YouTube where do we lie right in the little skim of the middle which is like home videos and random stuff that's where we lie so YouTube looks at us says hmm can we put them in a gaming vlog category or can we put them in a comp music category if we don't if they don't think in their standards that we belong in any of these categories they're just gonna shove us aside and grab these really big money baggers and throw them right in the middle that's where everybody's gonna watch not the people who are down there, down under, like, come on, you could click on a video of someone with one subscriber and find a really funny video. I did it the other day. There was a lady, I don't remember her actual name, but she had a video, I can't remember her name, but I clicked on her thing. She had a f videos about um, her cats, and that's what made me think of this name, Crazy Cat Corner. And, um, I was like, alright, whatever. So I clicked on a video and it was this cat doing something so weird. He was like, walking funny. And I bust up laughing because this video only had like 4 or 5 views. And I was like, this is really funny. How do you not have thousands of views for this? How? 
So it just makes me think, like, is YouTube really what they say they are? YouTube is supposed to be a place where we upload and people watch, but are people really actually seeing our videos? Because if you think about it, YouTube only puts videos when you type in the search bar that have over thousands of views. Like, if you type in something right now, like type in like a hamburgers. All these videos are going to show up that have thousand, thousand, thousand views. And you don't see hardly any two views or no views at all on there. Unless you go to like the settings and you put in like today videos. Those videos have little reviews because they haven't been watched yet. But these YouTube channels, like, and you see some of these YouTube names are like, like these big YouTube channels. So it's like they're not displaying lower quality video, which I'm not saying that's good. I know high quality videos what everybody wants to watch. But if YouTube could really like take a video that has no views and throw it in the mix of videos that have thousands of views, people would be looking down that thing and be like, oh, there's no views. Let's see what this is. It's new. And they'll click on it. But to not even put it out there at all is why I'm angry. It's because you don't put it on there. It's like, is it really worth um, okay, sorry. Is it really, eh, hit the wrong button. I was checking. Alright, sorry. Like, do you really think that YouTube, do you think YouTube lives up to their slogan? Like, do you believe YouTube is really what they say they are? Where you upload videos and they promise you people will see them? Do you really think YouTube takes your videos and puts them out there? I have to dig and dig and dig and dig when I go on other channels. Like my, my friend, I was on her YouTube the other day at her house. I have to dig to find my videos to show her. Like, I have to search and search and search before I even see my channel or see my videos on the search bar, it's like pages in, but, uh, you know, no one else does, I don't know, I'm just, I'm angry that YouTube's not what I want it to be, like, I want to put content out there that I think is funny, and what I think I like, but I'm not seeing the results I want with this YouTube thing, so I just don't understand how to get more viewers and what I'm doing wrong. And of course YouTube doesn't tell you that. Like YouTube does not tell you or send you a message, hey, you do not have that many followers. You cannot do this, 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 and this. You need to do this and this and this. Like they don't send you any of that. It's basically just a, like a, okay, throw it up there and maybe, you know, maybe we'll put it up there for you. It's like whoever created this website does not think in their head how this affects people. Because if you think about it, who is really watching my video right now? Two people. I have two people watching right now. Two. Do you think my live stream is up there with the other live streams that are up there right now? Like, like let's say PewDiePie's live streaming. Do you think my video is going to be up there next to him? No. It's not even going to be on YouTube's live page. So I really don't believe YouTube is a everybody type of website and I'm just saying I'm going to be straight up honest with you and people can get mad and get glad again I don't think YouTube is real I think it's a fake website that does not look up to the standards it should it they really don't widen out the viewing for everybody and I don't think that's right but I'm not the CEO of YouTube I'm not the creator of YouTube I can't say what YouTube does I can't but what I at least can do is keep putting my videos out there every single day or at least try if I'm not you know doing anything like I can try to put a content out at least once a week but I can't guarantee I'll get into any views I really can't because I really don't think it's gonna happen but I don't know we'll have to see what happens with this whole thing because right now they're YouTube Ruby's dying people are saying oh YouTube's not dying YouTube's fine YouTube's dying and I hate to say it because 
is a great website to me. It's it's fun. I love searching. I watch more YouTube. I watch YouTube maybe I don't know, maybe four or five times a day I go on YouTube. So it's it's really weird to me because I just don't feel like YouTube is like for people who upload what do you call those? Developers or content or streamers or whatever you want to call them people that want to upload videos and get views there is not a real amount of abundance on that and that's really what agitates me and bothers me about the whole situation is because I am trying to be a good YouTube partner and I can't because I don't feel like YouTube seeing it so I don't know I just I'm hoping YouTube doesn't die on us like it's coming. It's coming. YouTube's going to get into a place where all these big end YouTube channels are not going to be able to meet up with demands that YouTube wants. And they're not going to pick the lower channels and YouTube's just going to end up going bankrupt or <laughs> dying altogether because we they they don't see what's happening. And it really scares me because YouTube's a really fun channel. It's like YouTube is a really fun place to be, um, and I really think that we should invest our time in, um, you know, try to help it out, but I don't know, I don't think it's gonna happen, I really don't, but yeah, ow, my knee popped, I'm sorry if I'm moving around a lot, my knee's really hurting, and I'm trying to, like, keep it from not hurting right now, but, anyway, on to my next thing. Alright, I'm switching positions here to talk to you guys. Come with me. You're just gonna come with me. It's be a lot easier if I just moved it. Okay, so um the next order of business. Hold up, I'm actually gonna sit up and put a bit set. That is a lot better for me. My knee's not hurting now. Okay, so. My next thing here. Let me check. I got my ears. Ooh, that's bright. I'm gonna move that. That's kind of bright. Turn it off, actually. Okay. On to next thing. Okay, so. Ooh. Pandora. Okay, I don't know if any of y'all have been watching YouTube videos lately like I have, but I have been non-stop watching Pandora videos of the new world of Avatar that's at Animal Kingdom at Disney World. It looks so cool to me, and I really want to go. Um, they have, like, this cool thing at night where you walk and the sidewalk lights up as you walk or something. It's like they use bioluminescence for a lot of the effects. So it's, like, really cool, and, um... Let me see here what I'm doing. One second, I'm trying to fix this. One second, I'm trying to fix this. Okay, so, like I was saying, Pandora looks really cool. I'm actually quite excited to go see it. There is apparently two rides. Avatar 
Flight of Passage, I think it's called. No, it's just Flight of Passage. And then there's Avatar River Journey or Navi River. Oh, no, Avatar Flight of Passage and Navi River Journey are the two rides. The Flight of Passage is like a virtual kind of ride that you sit in. And you fly on one of those banshee looking things in the sky. And I know the Navi River Journey is a boat ride, which I saw a video of and that looks so cool. I really want to go on that. But, um... Ah, uh, what is that? There's a restaurant they have there. And Tim Tracker, one of my, the, Tim Tracker, I was watching his video and he was talking about it. Oh, it was like Pongu or Pongu. I think it's Pongu. I think it's Pongu. I think, yeah. They have like really cool drinks and stuff on there, so I'm actually kind of pumped. I like drinks and I like stuff like that so i'm gonna tweet the link out actually for this i'm thinking i may get better i might get more viewers if i tweet the link okay it's back i don't know what that was all about and i really don't know why i did that i don't know why i did that but i'm back anyway i was talking about since i watch a lot of disney stuff on YouTube, I'm actually going to explain a few things to you guys from different channels. So, first of all, on Tim Tracker, he went, I think it was Friday or Thursday. I think it was Friday. He went to Disney's Magic Kingdom, and he watched the ending of the Wishes. So, Wishes is a fireworks, it's a fireworks thingy that, um, the Disney puts on at the end of the night, and they replaced it with the Happily Ever After stream. Or not stream. Why am I saying stream? Um, they replaced it with a Happily Ever After fireworks show, which uses projecting in, like, light beams and stuff. Um, so... So, basically, it replaced wishes and it they did like a final showing of it i actually saw it from a distance um i was at disney world with my family a few weeks or maybe like a month or two ago and i had gotten sick during the um like we were at the park and i started feeling nauseous so we went back to the hotel they um, said they wanted to go back to the park for fireworks, and I was like, I really wanted to go, but then I was like, if I go and I get sick again, they'll be mad. So I just stayed at the hotel, so I watched Wishes from the hotel room. Didn't get to see it in person, but I watched it from the hotel room, and it was really cool. Um, it was, um, there was one firework I liked. It was like, a, oh, it was a big red one, and it was shaped of a Mickey Mouse, so it was kind of cool. But, um... Why is my video output low? Oh no, my video output's low. I don't know why my video output's low. Hold up. Let me try to fix this real quick. It's already on 240, so I don't know why it's being stupid. Let me stop it, restart. Let me try to restart it. Okay, or not, it's still being stupid. Why is it being stupid with me? You know what it is, someone's on YouTube right now watching YouTube videos. Anyway, I'm gonna try to get through this with the buffering. Um, anyway, so yeah, Wishes was really cool from a distance. But, um, I saw it from a distance and it was pretty cool. But now they have that Happily Ever After show, which is basically they take productions and they do it to different movies, I believe. And then they have like the fireworks behind the projections and all the lasers. And um, so uh, that would be cool to go see. Um, I heard a rumor that Disney's putting in a roller coaster called Moana Volcano Adventure or something like that. It's some type of volcano thingy that they're putting on. Um, so, ooh, my friend wants to join the stream. Let me, uh, we're not enjoying it, but watch it. 
I linked it to him so he can come see it. Anyway, um, but yeah, that should be cool. It's gonna be like a volcano ride based on the movie, which that movie got a lot of money <laughs> out of it, so I'm kind of surprised they didn't do it earlier. But yeah, uh, Animal Kingdom has a whole Pandora thing, which is gonna be awesome at night and during the day to see. I'm super excited to see it. Um, I'm hoping to go sometime soon before, you know, it's too late and I forget all about it. <laughs> Um, what's happening in Hollywood Studios? Ooh, they got the two new theme park sections. They're gonna have Star Wars Land, which Star Wars is cool, so I like that. And the Toy Story Land, which I'm super excited for, because I absolutely love Toy Story. Like, that's my favorite movie. Like, one of my favorite Disney movies. So it's gonna be pretty cool to see. And, um, there's nothing really happening in Epcot, as far as I know. Everything's pretty much the same in Epcot. But, um, yeah. So, Disney stuff, you know... New things are happening. Of course, Pirates of Caribbean comes out this weekend, which is fucking awesome. Excuse my French, because I love Pirates of Caribbean. And, um, I should do my welcome. forgot to do my welcome. Let me do my welcome. Welcome to the stream. Oh, so we um just got done playing Cards Against Humanity a few hours ago, like an hour or two ago. That was so much fun. I was playing with my family. So, um, yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to go back to. Oh, yes. Sorry if that went weird for a minute, I'm doing something. Um, we're gonna do... Oh, I need hockeys, hockeys. Hockeys. I need that scene switch. Alright, we're making Z the scene one. The NX. Just so I can actually show you guys stuff on here. Why I'm doing it. Okay, apply. Let's try this again. I'm going to be taking you guys through my photography page because a lot of you have been asking me quite amount of stuff about my photography page it's bugging me um Actually, need to <laughs> do something else. Okay. Get off of here. Let me go to photos before I switch over to. It's gonna kind of go through all my photos and show you guys stuff. All right, let's do this one. Okay, so okay, the first one we have going here, once it gets there, is a creepy looking. Okay, it's the zipper. I went to a carnival. That's the 
six, no, the seventh, I think, of May, at one of my local churches, and it was storming earlier, so we had like this weird, weird gloominess going. So I appointed my new camera up, snapped a photo. I didn't even look at it. Like I didn't even look at the photo at all until I got home, and then I realized this really cool dark blue right here was sticking out and just made this whole section of cars look really creepy. It just made it look like a weird ride that was happening and I was like, wow, I really like that way that looks. So I was very pleased with the way that looked. I was like, yes. Like, hell yeah, that's cool. So the next one we have going is in my backyard. We were working in the yard for the new pool and I thought this rear barrel was in a very good angle. The lighting was great. It really showed, um, what do you want to call that? Contrast. That's the word I'm looking for. So, that was that one. <laughs> this is my cat, actually. Um, oh, I clicked on it. Oops. This is Chloe. I liked her eyes really stuck out to me in this photo. I just love the glossiness and the way the light is hitting these corners right here. It really pops out the contrast of the back, like the background. It really brings out the lightness right here in this one section of her eye. It really brings out patterns, which is what I really like about it. It was a little bright right here where the whiskers are, but I'm not too mad about that. Um, these are in my front yard. I hate this photo. I shouldn't have put it up there. It's way too dark and kind of, it's not clear enough to me. I wanted to get more color in these and their beaks and their feet. Their feet should be a lot more pinker than that. I don't like the contrast of it. I really wanted to get the eye. I think I did actually get the eye. These are weird pictures. I, oh, okay. So here is a picture of the moon. <coughs> Sorry, coughed. Here's a picture of the moon. Now, the moon is very, what do you want to call that, like, it's not clear all the way, but you really can see the craters right here, and I'm going to here make sure I'm actually, oh, it's okay. very, what do you want to call that, like, okay. just making sure that my sound was working. So, I love the craters in the, um, the way the moon, like, I got to pick up the craters, which is really cool. Um, the color is really nice. The contrast between light and dark is really neat. Um, here's another one. I did this at a, like a um, different time, so you really could see the craters right here, where all these asteroids have hit this moon over and over again. And it was just a really cool photo, and I really like the darkness right here. It really brings these out. And that's just a sunset photo. It didn't turn out too great. Um. Okay, and that's those. I want to show you my animal series, which everybody loves this photo of my animal. It's the one animal photo I have, I gotta find it. Where is it? I'm not gonna show you all of these, I'm just gonna show you the good one of the, the, um, what you call it, the tiger photo. Everyone likes the tiger. Where's the tiger? I must have missed the timer. Um, or let's click on that. I don't want to change it. I want to show the tiger picture. Oh, there it is, right there. Here is the best picture I think I've still gotten so far. The lighting on this back of this tiger is beautiful. Just the way the symmetrics look, it really details out around his ears. It really makes me happy because of the. You can really see the darkness right here in his ears, which is really cool. Um, his eyes, they're not as bright as I want them to be, but I really like the colors and how the sun's hitting just this one area right here. And it really brings out this leg that's not even fully in frame, but it really brings out his symmetrics down his back. And just these way these patterns are all going towards his front, which are very beautiful. Um... So yeah, that is kind of a little glimpse of my photography work. I haven't quite, you know, done a whole lot of it. So, 
I'm still working on it. I'm going to be trying to get out and do more photos soon. I'm hoping very soon. Um, so yeah. Well, I don't know why I didn't change like it's supposed to. It's supposed to change and it didn't. Okay, hold up. Did it work now? Okay, now it's working. Took me mad. I had to figure it out. I have really bad, like, feed right now. She's really pissing me off. But yeah, so basically, I've been taking a lot of photos. Um, I've been, you know, doing a lot. Um, what was I gonna say? So yeah, if you know. <laughs> yes, it did. That is so epic. Yeah, my photos are pretty cool. So, um, yeah. You know, I've said what I need to. I got nothing better to do now. I was hoping for more viewers, but <laughs> oh well. That's my life. It's not, like, freezing as much, though, as I thought it would be at the moment. So yeah, um, I really don't know what to do now. I may get off and switch to, why'd I go back to that? Why'd you go back to the game? What is the fucking thing for this? Hold up, I'm having an issue. It won't like, it keeps switching. It's really agitating me. Oh, it's... Haha. <laughs> if I would have figured that out in the first place, that would have been great. It keeps doing that. It's really agitating me, so stop it. Sometimes when you stream the video that you are, are watching, I'll just stream. Sometimes when you stream the video that you are watching, I'll just stream the video that you are watching. So yeah, basically we are going to be chilling out like a villain. Um, my phone is dead, so that's why I haven't really been doing anything on it. So, yeah, anyway, phone's dead, so I really can't be doing anything. I gotta get off of this now, because I can't be too loud, everybody's gotta go to sleep, so that's gonna do it for the stream. Hope y'all enjoyed watching. Um, you, my friend, can do, you know what, I will, you know. I get you. So, I will see everybody when I see everybody the next time. I'm going to try to stream every Sunday. I don't really know if that's going to work. I'm going to try though. So, I will see you all later. Peace.